Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'll share with you guys how you can get custom emojis set up on your Android phones, including the well sought after iOS 15 emojis, as well as even the pixels. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. Now right out the gate, when you're looking at two very similar emoji packs, you may think to yourself, you can't really tell the difference. Well that is, until you take a closer look. Such as here, comparing these seven, where a few have subtle differences, and others more drastic. Now with this guide, we're not only going to switch up your emoji packs, but also, as a byproduct, add in any of those newly released emojis as well. Now before we get started, just keep in mind this won't work on all Android phones, however, here's a list of the ones it does support. So now that we have that out the way, let's get it set up on our phones. For this, we're simply going to head over to the Play Store and grab ourselves the app, Z Font. And once you've made your way past all of these pop-up messages, as well as enabled this app permission, you should see a screen that looks like this. And as the name of the app suggests, you'll not only find custom emojis, but also font packs as well. So feel free to take your time and have a good look around. Now for this tutorial, we're focusing on the emoji section, where at the top of the list, you should find the pack for the iOS 15 emojis. Just simply head into it and click download. Now at this point, just simply give it a few minutes to complete and then hit the apply button. After which, you should see a pop-up much like this one. Now depending on your phone, you may find that this list is a bit longer or even shorter than mine. Simply put, because there's so many different versions of Android, and the fact that each phone manufacturer likes to add in their own little twists, the developer of this app has added different methods that you can use to apply your custom font and emojis. So not all of these methods will work for you, but simply work your way down the list until you find one that does. And make sure to keep an eye out for any pop-up instructions. Now because this application process varies so much, depending on which phones we're using, make sure to share the best method that worked for you down in the comment section below to help others out. As for me, on One UI 4.1, the automatic option worked fine. Saying that, I did have a hiccup where I couldn't change my font pack to iOS 15s, however, when I tried a second time, I was prompted to use the Samsung icon pack instead. And following these new instructions that popped up, I was able to apply the custom iOS 15 emojis. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.